What's going on, boys and girls? It's me, Chris. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. So. So today I am actually taking over your guys' Twitch Tuesday for Steve and Nate. Helping them out a little bit with some stuff. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So today we're going to be playing some Mass Effect from the Xbox 360 days. We did go back in time. Please log in to access your program. <coughs> Sorry about that. Had to enter the name, and supposedly I just decided, hey, let's not show it. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Yeah, I'm just gonna go the same way that I always went with, being Confirm space, uh, profile. uh, let's go with the Confirm war hero and soldier. Facial identification. Hello to all the viewers there right now. About right for my skin tone. Does and no slip. Oh, the slur across the air. Maybe I can't like give my dad like the mohawk and everything, you know what I mean? What? Yeah. <laughs>
Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Keep it on normal. Just cause. <clears throat> well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Can I slip this? Military service runs in the family. I guess not. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. <clears throat> In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space firing civilization. In the decades that followed, the mysterious artifacts revealed suddenly new whatever. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. <coughs> 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh, no, that's if I want to go renegade. I'm going Something Paragon. With the mission. I just realized my dad looks Asian. Like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. That's nothing like me. I told you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. These are specters are always on a mission. And we're getting trapped. Right. Right along with them. There's collectibles around here, isn't there? Normally is. 
Well, not really collectibles, but stuff you can pick up, isn't there? Isn't there? I'm missing some. Yeah, let's talk to Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Ames Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. Excuse me. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for I'll some get the joy of taking a dump on my broken city. toilet. Thanks, Chris. Real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> you need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool. Even so. Stay with a buddy. This waiting's killing me. Dropped my body wash and it broke his toilet. Fucking awesome, right? Uh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus. I want to say hi to some of the, the, the new viewers we have. Uh, Man, I can't believe I'm from one to three. So, hello to the new viewers. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre uh, helping a buddy out with his uh, YouTube channel, Everyday Gaming Spectres. Society. Uh, Spectres don't have any no. official power, though. Basically, Everyday Gaming Society Productions, EGS Productions for short. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this... It was gorgeous. But... When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime uh, probably probably going to be going to click through a little bit of the audio. There's got to be something uh, else going most on. Most of the dialogue just to get through stuff a little bit quicker. I can't wait for the real mission. I'm only going to be doing this for a short time and whatnot. So. And everything will work out. Easy for you to say. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So going back in conversation with the Mass Effect and everything. It's uh, a game that came out that when it first came out I wasn't really into it because just figure it was like a Halo knockoff, yes, but a started playing a little bit more of it and realized it was a Eden whole lot better than I expected. Of a for your I kind of love it a whole lot better than Halo. Not only the so I can't wait for the new Mass Effect to come out and but how safe is it really? go from there. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time yes, we told the Alliance is truly people. ready for this. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. 
Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. I thought the Protheans that started to Prometheus. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, I'm glad you're here to help Nihilus. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden You'll Prime. be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it ground out of the ship. Ground team, yay. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh -oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Houston, we Bring have a problem. Screen. traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 it's a hand no, I'm just kidding. status report it's a replay. 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area Monitor most Take us hello to all the viewers they're all watching right now got a lot more complicated. won't be surprised if there's a one in a certain bathroom taking a shit right now without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Who besides me Somebody wishes that the uh, Normandy was like an actual spaceship. Your team's the muscle in pretty this cool to Commander. fly in once Go in a while. Heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, sir. Approaching <coughs> drop point two. Ship perimeter secured, Commander. I have to say, back in like the 2007s when this game came out. Graphs was pretty cool, and nice sleeping aside from being nearly destroyed, pretty cool. Uh, if 
I can remember how to equip weapons and everything. So, A is the sprint. Remember, people, there's always this piece around here. Nice little upgrade kit. Something around here too, wasn't there? Ah, uh, and this not. <coughs> Alrighty, onward with the mission if I don't get too lost. Oh god, what happened here? No, Jenkins. What's that about this game when it came back came out before Mass Effect 2? You actually Everything was done by lasers. Now it's fucking pick up ammo! Run out of ammo, you're screwed. see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete but i need you to stay focused wow aye, six aye, viewers how's it going ladies and gents uh, welcome to the broadcast of mass effect where my voice is born and you guys are falling asleep Aha. Kind of sad that I just hit X to reload and just realized I don't need to reload. Is it just me or is it like in the first like game actually was just a whiny little bitch about everything? Yeah, I mean that could have just been me at the time, but Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Maybe. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. We try to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever Where's since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault. Yes, sir. The Geth haven't. They been... must. 
The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Who has the light armor right now? Caden does, so we'll give it a little bit of an increase for him. And do I have anything else I can equip? Nope, that's just it. Now we'll just auto level up. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. To the camps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Do it, it's a trap. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Pickups around here. <coughs> Get that out of the way. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, 
The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. <coughs> Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Oh, no, I can't skip this cutscene or anything in it. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth. Son of a bitch. Uh, how is it that a shot like that? Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Oh, no, I can't skip this cutscene or anything in it. I wasn't expecting to find the get Son of a bitch. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh-oh. How uh. oh, is it that a shot like that could be heard like, all the way from over here? Stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's Those things were crawling uh -huh. all around. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just... Jeez, Blake. You have something to tell me, Some Cole? guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. You're breaking the law. We're not hurting. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came. We're risking our lives. Yeah, there's one more thing. Who's your contact at the space? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. I have to go. Good luck.
see what we did. Anything new for equipment? Anything good? Oh, we can upgrade to the Banshee. Maybe throw a sensor on there. Um. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll take the Stinger. Do I want the Reaper or no? No. Alrighty. Oh, I can do that. Oh, there. New stuff. If there's anything good, probably not. Name the Reaper and. I think I'll just take it, I mean, fuck it, why not, right? Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving, <coughs> over behind those crates. Wait, don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon. It's over. I knew they killed everyone. Everyone. If I had met me, how the come crates, you're the only one who survived? They never had a chance. Wait a minute. You were I... hiding. You survived because you're lazy. If you hadn't snuck off yeah. for that. Command. Yeah, I guess. We need to find out. I, 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 I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever died in Mass Effect on this level. Yep.
I don't think we got them all. No. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. The fact that I still remember where some of the stuff is is pretty cool. <laughs> Mass Effect. Personal. The only downside is like the sprint, like you really don't even run that fast really. Yeah, that's sprinting. See? 
Yeah, the only good sprint is like during the um, when you basically run during the freaking fights, basically. We should move, Commander. It is what? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. 
You sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. But Saren has allied it. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. A vision of what? I saw a We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna we do? He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find someone. It's not that easy. He's a specter. We prove, sir. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, ladies and gents, I am going to end it right there for the evening. Thank you for watching. This has been Twitch Tuesdays with Chris. Bye.